I have an undergraduate degree in microbiology, so I just felt doing a master's in public health was the next step to take. They have international modules that relate to international students more, which other universities do not have. The nicest thing about it is meeting people. I've met even fellow Nigerians. I've met people that are really nice. I've met people from other backgrounds, other experiences. You know, I meet people doing the same kind of thing I do in a different setting, and it's really interesting knowing what other people do. There are fantastic lecturers, many of them experts in their field, who are very approachable. If you get to interact in class, learn from other people, not just your lecturers. We had different um, practical examples used during the lectures, and we were able to work through these examples, and that has helped my understanding. My application done, I was contacted by an agent of the school who helped with every, all, the, all information I needed based on the application process, getting information from the school, my visa process, and all that stuff. Prior to doing the course, I had just had one plan, just do the course and you know, get a job in a health facility or something. But while, while on the course, I've realized I have a thousand and one things I can do. It would open up further avenues for me in terms of broadening my practice. So I am learning already that there are different aspects of public health, which is something I didn't know before. You can get involved in health protection. You can get involved in communicable disease control. I can work in the health healthcare services, I can work with NGOs, I can work in health promotion, health protection. The course gives you a range, shows you the range of things you can do and I have a lot of options now. The assessment process is a bit different. In Nigeria, I was used to just mostly writing exams. You get taught, you prepare for exams and write exams. Here, I think the focus is more on the process of it, so how you get the information, how you are, use the information. So usually the assessment doesn't just rely on exams, it relies more on essay writing and stuff like that. When I studied in Nigeria, most of what I had to study was in published textbooks, so I was reading lots and lots of textbooks. But now there's access to all of these materials electronically and you can access them from home, from different parts, so you don't necessarily have to go into a library. I wasn't really used to writing academic essays, but coming here I, have to, I had to practically relearn how to write academic essays because I had to do that in university. Not because it was wrong, but just because that's the way it works here. Birmingham is a very interesting city. You get to meet people from different parts of the world. And people are quite friendly, which is something I find um, very warm and, um, and welcoming. And also in terms of studying, if you want to do it, I think you need to get um, prepared and start your application process quickly, because obviously you would need to also put in an application for a visa. It's no joke, like, you have to be serious about it. Yes, you're here for one year, you're here to have experiences, varied experiences and all that, but when it comes down to doing the course, it's not child's play, you have to be serious. And the thing about it is hard work pays, so if you do your work right, you would get good results, that's basically it. Everybody can benefit from some understanding of public health. I don't think it's just for doctors or nurses or people who work um, strictly within healthcare. I think most people with some understanding of science could come onto the Masters in Public Health program and find that it gives them opportunity to advance their career or actually change into a slightly um, different discipline after they have um, got the uh, qualifications.